gearheads of the internet, welcome to the top 5 electric commuter bikes of 2021. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the best e-bikes to beat the rush hour traffic, haul groceries and discover the back roads. These bikes are the ultimate choice for commuting or cruising in the city. If you're looking for a mountain e-bike, we've done a couple of videos on these, which I'll link below. I've been working in bike shops for the last 10 years, so I know a thing or two about bicycles. We'll be looking at bikes in five different categories and first up is the best folding bike. Don't want to lock your $5,000 e-bike in the busy city? I don't blame you. Folding bikes are a great answer for this. Pack them away or easily store them in your car for trips. The Turn Vectron S10 has an MSRP of $3,700 US and is one of the only folding e-bikes I've found with the proven Bosch motor. It's fairly heavy, but this is down to the sturdy motor and 400 watt hour battery. The Vectron comes in just one size and is able to fit riders from 4 foot 10 all the way up to 6 foot 5, so it can be shared between the family. It has everything a regular bike comes with, hydraulic disc brakes, so you have reliable stopping power, a sturdy cargo rack rated for up to 59 pounds, kickstand and name brand components from Shimano. This folding bike has a toolless adjustable seat post and handlebar and packs down easily to fit on buses, trains, taxis and works great for people with limited storage space. The next category is best touring bike. Great for both touring back roads and general commuting, this is a great multi-purpose option. The Cube Touring Hybrid Pro 500 is available in both regular and low step frame options and retails at $3,500. This sporty little number comes with integrated cargo racks and puts you in an active body position for better pedaling efficiency. The Cube is designed around a Bosch Performance Gen 3 cruise motor with a sizable 500 watt hour battery. It's tricky to estimate the range of an e-bike because there are so many variables in rider weight, temperature, terrain and rider input, but a 500 watt hour battery should get you about 80 miles in ideal conditions. This bike is made for everyday adventures and can allow you to go further, faster compared with a normal bike. It has basic suspension for a more comfortable ride on gravel and rough terrain. Its integrated racks will allow you to load the frame up for a weekend trip and multi-day hotel hopping. Full coverage fenders help prevent you from wearing that muddy racing stripe if you're out during the wet weather and hydraulic disc brakes will ensure you come to a stop in any conditions. This bike is my top pick if you want to commute to work and discover what exactly is down that unbeaten path. Next up is the best cruiser. This style of bike puts you in a relaxed, upright body position with fat tires and the coolest of looks that fit right in on the streets of Amsterdam. The Electrogo 7D is the ultimate cruiser and so affordable at $1,500 and is available in both step through and step over versions. Electra are my number one pick mainly due to its frame design. All Electras have a flat foot technology which means the pedals have been moved forward towards the front wheel which allows you to be seated comfortably on the saddle and put your foot flat on the ground when you come to a stop. This might sound like a minor detail but it adds a level of comfort and confidence to a nervous rider that other bikes can offer. Electra bikes are made by Trek so you can count on one of the best customer service experiences if anything goes wrong. They have a ton of matching accessories that you can zhuzh up your ride from cute baskets, colourful bells, helmets, panniers, even pet carriers and surf racks. The 7D is super affordable and has a great solid motor behind it. If you have some extra dollars burning in your pocket, Electra have some awesome, more premium options. Cafe racers, anyone? These are too stylish, I can't handle it. An emerging category is the super light commuter. How sleek does this bike look? It is the specialized Como SL 5.0, retailing for just under five grand. Specialized have been the front runners in the e-bike game since the technology started to take off and you can clearly see how much development they're putting into the industry. 
The Como SL is a slimmed down version of its bigger brother. The original model gives you four times the power you put into the pedals, whereas this lighter model will give you two times the power you put into the pedals. The battery is also a little smaller at 320 watt hours, but you can top that up with their optional range extender, giving you an extra 160 watt hour. Specialized have been a bit cheeky with their range numbers on their website, including this range extender in their calculations. But in eco mode, the bike alone should get you 50 miles, and if you're using boost mode, that will drop down to around 20 miles. The Specialized motor is by far the most reliable on the market, and you can fine tune the ride feel with their Mission Control app. The cargo capacity is also pretty impressive, allowing you to haul up to 33 pounds in the front basket and 44 pounds in the rear rack. That's about 25 bottles of gin or 77 loaves of bread. Specialized have opted with an internal gear hub for a low maintenance drivetrain. This is good because the unit is sealed from the elements and you won't get your clothes dirty from greasy chains, but if anything goes wrong with this, you might be in with a large bill to get this replaced. I'm definitely buying this one for my mum when I win the lottery so she can transport her gin by bike. £77 is a lot of weight, but a cargo bike can load even more. For me, the best cargo bike is the Benno Boost E. Available in both regular and step through, it's pricey at five grand, but it's rated to carry £170 of cargo. Hauling groceries, children, or maybe just your drunk friend back from the bar, cargo e-bikes are where it's at. On the website, they have various accessories that you can add on to the bike and include various configurations on how you could load the bike. But Karen from the club, oddly, isn't listed. As long as anything on the rear rack is less than 130 pounds, you are golden. You can fit a seat pad, traditional child seats, and look, there is another surf rack. This niche brand was founded in 2016 by the guy who started Electrobikes, so you know we're on to a winner here. They spec their bikes with reliable name brand components and are powered by the Bosch system. This brand is particularly awesome because you can run two full-size batteries on the frame, maxing out at 1000 watt hours. That's a crazy amount of power. So that was the top five electric commuter bikes of 2021. I hope there was a bike in there that fits your lifestyle and if you're already rocking an awesome e-bike that I didn't include in this list, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe, it really makes a difference. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.